Hi, this is a walkthrough for tagging a document in PDF. To begin, we must first go to the DDPs tab, then choose our DDP. From here, we can go ahead and open up the field tagger and ensure that the document type is set to PDF. Now we can set the tagger aside and open up our PDF document. If your PDF document doesn't already have fields within it, you can start the wizard by selecting the Forms drop-down, then select Start Form Wizard. Ensure that an existing electric document is selected as well as use the current document. Selecting Next will autofill your PDF document with form fields. From here you can edit the properties, get your field tagger, and delete the name field of the properties box, and insert your merge tag and save. Move on to different fields and select your main object and field appropriately. Now if you're using checkboxes, you must first figure out what type of field this is inside Salesforce. For company color, we're first going to create a tooltip and then navigate back to Salesforce so we can figure out what type of field this is. We're going to go to an account record and as you can see, the company color field is a pick list. So we'll only need one merge tag for all of the company color checkboxes, but they will all have different export values. So first we must locate the company color field tag, open up our PDF file, and then in the properties section of each PDF field, insert the merge tag into the name field. Now that the name field has been changed, we must go to the options section of the field properties and change its export value to its export value in Salesforce and then what kind of box style it is. So this blue check box will have an export value of blue and it'll be checked if the merge tag returns a value of blue. Now you must do the same thing for the green check box except the export value will become green instead of blue. And we're going to change the check box style to check. Then move on to the red and do the same thing. Insert the merge tag, choose the options and give it an export value of red, then change the box style to check. And finally, the same thing for the orange check box. Delete the name, insert the merge tag, select options and change the export value to orange and the box style to check. Now moving on to the partner checkbox, we must confirm what type of field this is in Salesforce. Opening up our browser, we can see that the partner field in the account object is actually a checkbox. So if it's checked, it's going to return a value of true. If it's unchecked, it's going to return a value of false. So first we must find the merge field, then place a tag in the name field of the properties. Go to options and give it an export value of true and select the action for true, which is check. Now that our document's tagged, we can close the field tagger, save the document, and upload it to Salesforce. We can do this by navigating to the DDP, selecting the new document button, choosing a folder to save it in, uploading it from our desktop, and assigning it a document name and unique name. Now that we've saved the file, we must remember to include it in the DDP. 
So we go to the Select Files section, choose the folder, find the document, and then insert it into the middle grid and save. Now it's ready for use. We can go to our record on our main object type. Note that the company color is green and partner is checked. Select the Loop Plus button, choose the contact and the DDP with a delivery option and hit Run. This will process our document. Now we should get company information, contact information, green checked in the company color field, and the partner checkbox checked. Now that the file is processed, we can open up our PDF and confirm that that is in fact merged into the document. And that is how you tag in PDF. Thank you.